that fateful day, Sunita sent a message to Tina from Vinay's phone. Tina did turn up, only to find Sunita in Sunita and Tina had a, had a heated argument. They were, they were fighting. It almost turned into a, a cat fight. In the spur of the moment, Sunita picked up a pan that she was cooking on and slammed it across Tina's face. Instantly killing her. Sunita didn't know what she had done. She, she hadn't planned this. She wanted to kill her. The emotion was there. She wanted to kill her, but not kill her, really. Get rid of the body. She had a trunk in the house. She she wrapped Tina's body up and put it in a trunk. She took the help of the watchman and, and brought the trunk down. She hired a rickshaw and asked him to take her to the outskirts of the city. She loaded the trunk and sat in it quietly. In a while they reached the, the, the toll booth. For some strange reason that day, the police were checking each and every vehicle that was crossing over on the other side. Sunita looked at the, the rickshaw guy and, and told him that there was a dead body in the trunk. He freaked. He asked her to get out. She said she'd blame him. She turned around and she'd blame him for having a body in his, in, his, in, his, in his vehicle. The man had no other option. He turned around and took her somewhere else. They were on the road for more than a couple of hours finding a, a quiet enough location to dispose of the trunk. The driver was also party to the crime now. They left the trunk in a place that they thought was, was quiet enough. Only to be found by a, a fisherman two hours later. Sunita was caught. A, she didn't find a discreet enough spot. And B, she didn't take the cell phone out of Tina's pocket. <laughs> 